All right, Mr. Williams, your version. Uh, my version, um, I had to work by appointments. He arrived at the shop at 7 o'clock. I was already booked, so we got an argument, a confrontation. I told him if somebody didn't show up, I'd be able to get him. But everybody showed up. Man. What about these tequila drinks from next door? Oh, no, the tequila drinks, I just got off work. I just I do construction. I just got off work, got there at 7 o'clock. I had four people line up. So we closed at 7.30. So you were working that day? Yes, ma'am. For whom? Oh, my father. Construction, strokers and son. And you were on a particular site that day that you remember? Can't recall at the moment. We was demolition in the house or something like that, painting. And was your father on site? Oh, no, ma'am. Just me. I just rolled up. I just came there at 7 o'clock. I had a point. You're not following what I'm no. saying. You said you worked construction all day. You yes, just I got, got off. there. Yes, ma'am. I want to know where you were working construction and who was there with you in the construction site where you were working. Oh, my father. And you worked with your father until what time? Uh, about 6 o'clock, 6.30. Is your father working today? Uh, no, ma'am. Where is he? He's home. He's home? Yes, ma'am. He was in a car accident. That's mm -hmm. why I worked with him. He was in a truck accident. Okay. And when this evening, February 5th, was over, it was a very traumatic night, right? Uh, yes, ma'am. Did you discuss it with your father? Uh, yeah, I, let, I, I mentioned to him what happened. I mean... You told him what happened? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so... If I were to call your father now, who's home, would he tell me that you were with him on a construction site until 6 or 6.30? Oh, yes, ma'am. Great. Okay, so 6 or 6.30, then you get to the barbershop yes. and... <laughs> I get to the barbershop, I had appointments already lined up, and I started cutting my customers. Keep going. But then when he came in, he wanted to get a cut. I said, I don't think I could catch it, because it's past already 7 o'clock. I got four people. I don't want to leave here at 10, 11 o'clock at night. Well, and I said, well, no, I need to go. I got a date. I'm ready to go. I, I can. I got people coming. Well, they're not here. I only see one or two. They come, and that's why they got appointments. So they come where everybody won't be crowded at the same time. And then he kept, I told him, if you wait, and then if somebody didn't show up, then I'd catch you. And if, if not then, I don't think I could Fine. get you. Yes. So, what's next? How did um, he get cut? Oh, after that, we got into an argument. He went off on me in the shop. We got in an argument inside the shop. Then everybody broke it up. Like he was saying, they, they separated us. The owner came in because we can't lock the door from the inside because the key broke. So the owner came in, locked the front door, everybody, that was it. It just de-escalated. De Finished my customers, went to the back. He kept me there for about 20 minutes or more. Who and did? I, the owner. He said, just sit down and let it go. Mike Conclasure, he was going from the back door, bam, on the door, rah, rah, all high style. He was like, don't go to sit down in here, don't go out there. And then after about 20 minutes, I got to go home. So I had to leave out the back door of my hour building, walk from the back all the way up to the front. That's when he approached me. When he approached me, I had my shears in my hand for my protection. And after that, he hit me, he punched me in my face. When he punched me in my face, then we got an altercation. And then that's what went on in the front yard, in the front, by the store. And you I got, got pictures cut of it. By your scissors. Yes. So what you're telling me is you waited inside for 20 minutes. Yes, I waited inside. Thought he'd left. Did the police come? No, ma'am. No police never came. What happened to the police? Nobody ever called them. Unfortunately, I'm from a neighborhood where people don't believe in calling the police. Well, you have a cell phone. Why didn't you call the police? My phone was in the car. Then you go to the car and get the yeah. phone. What happened was, to, to be honest, that uh, what happened was when I was sitting in the barber chair, and because I was sitting in, you know, catty corner to him. After he came up behind me, my keys were on my lap. You hear me? So I guess during some time of that, my keys had fell. Somebody oh, grabbed them, but I didn't have my keys on me to call the police to go to the car you and call the police. You got a lot of stories, ma'am. You got a lot of stories. I'm not sure I believe you. Yes, ma'am. It's the honest to God truth.